Santa Claus is coming to town. But where is he from? The North Pole? Not originally. Santa is Greek. He was born Nikolaos, or Nicholas, to a wealthy Christian family in the Eastern Roman Empire when Christianity was in its infancy. He was appointed Bishop of Myra at a very young age and quickly became a champion for people in need. Now, many of the tales about him indeed might just be legends, but the most famous story is likely true, and it's the one that launched him into the Christmas saga. Before he was bishop, there was a father from his hometown with no money to pay the dowries for his three daughters. His only option, apparently, was to sell them into slavery. Three times, Nicholas secretly dropped a bag of gold through their window, saving the girls from a horrible fate. But there would be hard times ahead. In 303, Christians across the empire were persecuted because the emperor hated them. Nicholas ended up in prison, but luckily the next emperor was also the first Christian emperor. He was released to continue his work as bishop. During the next few centuries, Nicholas's fame grew and grew. He became the patron saint for everyone, but he had a special place in his heart for children, and every December 6th, he would drop goodies through their windows. Over the next millennium, he traveled through the growing Christian world. As he went north, his appearance changed, from somber Greek bishop to cheerful Catholic saint. When chimneys started appearing in Europe, he abandoned windows in favor of the smokestacks. As he moved, his name took many different forms in many different languages. Sometimes, he was seen with a companion, like Friendly Pete or Cruel Krampus. In the 17th century, St. Nicholas decided to go to North America. But it wouldn't be easy because the continent was being settled by Protestants and they hated saints like Nicholas. He disguised himself in Dutch attire, foreshadowing his secular future, and sailed to Manhattan. There, the Dutch adopted him as their protector, even as the growing English population changed New Amsterdam to New York, times were good for St. Nick. He got fat and jolly. He learned to fly for the first time. He started making toys. He changed the date of his annual journey, finally settling on the night before Christmas. He even supported the Union during the Civil War. And from all his many names, Santa Claus would stick in America. But New York City was growing fast, and so was the country. He needed a neutral base of operations far from civilization. And what better place for the wintry wonder than the North Pole? Even at this distance, Santa could not, or perhaps would not, escape the commercialism surrounding him. And in 1931, Coca-Cola made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Santa Claus, our winter sales are low, see? We need your help selling our product to children for Christmas. In return, we'll advertise you across the world. All you gotta do is wear the new suit. What do you say? Ho ho ho! Heck yes! Santa went global. And to this day, he continues to deliver presents to millions of kids of every creed around the world who believe in his magic. 